the owner of Gracie Orlando Self Defense Center and the personal trainer to that seven foot one, 325 pound guy, Shaquille O'Neal, training him most recently in mixed martial arts. And Jonathan joins us on First Take for some insight into training the big cactus among many different names. Actually, I should ask you, Jonathan, do you have a separate name for him that maybe we don't know? Um, no, we just call him Big or Big Cactus <laughs> or Diesel. He likes the name Diesel. Diesel, yeah, he goes back to the old school stuff. Now, you've yeah. been working with him for a while now. What's, what's it like to train Shaq? Training Shaq for the last 10 years, um, he's been doing our, our, our sixlevels.com training for 10 years and it's like the best way I can describe it is running into a brick wall like we discussed or wrestling a grizzly bear. Not that many <laughs> people have done that, but uh, it's challenging because of his physical size and dimensions. He's a world class athlete and uh, every time he comes to train you know, at our Six Levels Academy, he brings it real strong. <laughs> if that's the challenging thing about it, what's the best thing about training him? The best thing about training Shaq at our Six Levels Academy is that, you know, he brings such a strong energy and desire to win, and he's so competitive. It, uh, it helps elevate my game, too. You know, I've got to stay on my toes, and uh, thank goodness for the training. So oh. that, that's what keeps me alive with him. I was going to say, or get on his back from one of the pictures we just saw there. <laughs> what, what, kind yeah. of, what kind of mixed martial arts <laughs> have you been doing with him? Um, Shaq at, uh, at our Six Levels Academy has been training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, like Gracie Jiu Jitsu most people have heard of. We've been doing some boxing, traditional boxing as well as some Muay Thai. And we do a lot of conditioning. The mixed martial arts, the way that we teach it through the sixlevels.com is beyond um, just fighting in an octagon. It's used for conditioning and I get a lot of athletes who are coming to me more and more to use our type of training for conditioning. So I would guess that that's how it helps him in basketball is the conditioning aspect? Absolutely. The conditioning that the six levels uses is it's all about agility, coordination, flexibility, weight loss, cardiovascular, and we use the, a lot of anaerobic explosive exercise at the six levels like you'd use in a game, sprinting up and down the court, exploding up for a rebound, boxing people out, etc. What's he best at when it comes to some of the jujitsu stuff? Inflicting pain. <laughs> He's, it uh, comes easily to him? <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, he doesn't have to try hard. He's phenomenal at the rear naked choke. Which is Wait, when you get behind you gotta somebody. explain that. <laughs> okay. The rear naked choke is when you get to somebody's back and you put your arms around their throat and you, and you put them to sleep by cutting off the oxygen through their carotid arteries. I could see that then. I yeah. could see that. And he's strong. He's got a strong jab. And um, I'll tell you what, the knees that he's learned to throw in with the six levels training, is, uh, it's through the roof. He, he, my chest cavity still hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> what, what does he need to work on the most, do you think? Um, I would say in terms of what he needs to work on is just understanding that he's seven foot one, 325 pounds, that when you're sparring, um, you know, fifth gear, not every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a tweet we want to share with people that Shaq sent. It was, quote, I just got through working out, working out John Burke, you. Wow, what a workout. Chuck Liddell, here I come, GracieOrlando.com. <laughs> um, so who wins? If there was an actual matchup, Chuck Liddell, who everybody knows, or, or Shaq, who's going to win that? We're going to have the answer on the sixlevels.com coming soon. Oh, real? He's going to get in the in with Chuck Liddell. Uh, no comment. There's always a surprise with Shaq. You guys know better than I do. Wow. Um, well, a quick answer. Shaq's got a very strong jab, and uh, if he can use his reach, he stands a good chance of doing pretty well, even though Chuck is a world-class mixed martial artist. Well, let me try this then. Uh, chances that we see Shaq in an octagon with Chuck Liddell. What are the chances? Yeah, what are the chances? Stay tuned. No percentage, nothing. I'm not getting anything out of you. If I did uh, the bare naked grab, thing, whatever. Um, the rear naked show. <laughs> yes, I can maybe get an answer to that one. Yeah, bare naked. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Daniel. I can't remember. Um, so there's one other thing I want to ask you about, because earlier sure. this week, he was actually, you were telling me, he was in the octagon with a guy who found him, I guess, via Twitter, found you guys. How did he do? Yeah, um, Shaq or the guy? <laughs> B both, I guess. Well, here's the thing. Um, Shaq's been training for the last 10 years, and um, he's in incredible shape, as most people know. And he's had his ups and downs, and he's on a serious mission now. So the guy from Twitter came in and uh, wanted to get in our octagon at the Six Levels Academy. So we put him in, and uh, we're posting our video this week on the sixlevels.com. And all the fans are going to get to watch it and vote. And every week at the sixlevels.com, Shaq wants to post a new fight because we're getting barraged with challengers, as you can imagine. Oh, that's great. How about if it were like an all NBA version? Could Shaq win a last man standing MMA fight with maybe the top 10 guys that are out there? I have no doubt. <laughs>
I'm his trainer. <laughs> of course he would win. Of course he would win. Come on, Dana. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> yeah, you know the answer. I do. Jonathan, thanks for joining us. This was, uh, this was great, and we'll look forward to watching the video later this week. And Shaq and Chuck Liddell, we'll be watching for that, too. Thanks, Dana. Thank you.